Hello and welcome to this midweek reflection with me, Ian, minister in Bothwell Parish Church. Whether you join us from near or from far, may you know the peace and the comfort of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are counting down to Christmas, not long now until the big day. Perhaps you're buying your presents, writing your cards, getting ready to see family and friends. This Christmas, we hope and pray, is so much better than the one last year when so many of us were isolated and alone. This Christmas is filled with so much hope and so much potential. Today I want to just take a moment to look at the shepherds from Luke's Gospel. Because in chapter 2 we read how there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid for see I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known who had been told what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them of all the people to go to the angel was instructed to go to the shepherds men in the field who were unclean who were unwanted in society who were looked over and ignored, who couldn't push to the front of the queue in life. And yet on that night they were told the news first. And isn't it wonderful, there's no discussion about what to do with the sheep, who will stay or go. They made haste and they went. And Mary treasured their words. And not only that, we read at the end that the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The angels who had no theological degree, who had no masters, those shepherds who had a job that no one really wanted, they became the first evangelists going into the world to share the good news. So this Advent, perhaps if you think you're not good enough or worthy enough, intelligent enough, young enough, old enough, whether you worry you will find the right words or have too many words, the shepherds remind us that God wants to use you. So this Advent, go into the world and be used by God for he uses everyone. From the shepherds to the wise men and everyone else in between. Let us pray. Lord God, we ask your blessing now as we continue our journey in Advent. Lord, fill our hearts with hope and with joy. Lord, fill our hearts with the knowledge that we are good enough, that we are who you made us to be, that we can glorify your name and we can share your good news. Whether we be a shepherd or a wise man or something in between, you use us and you love us. So Lord, help us as Advent to see your glory. Help us as Advent to walk your path. And help us this Advent to glorify you. 
O oh God, in the silence now, speak to our hearts, hear our prayers. O oh God, Jesus Christ, Hear us now as we come together saying the words that you gifted to us, that you taught us, that you gave us. Saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever. Amen.
and cry. 